Good morning, everyone. How did you feel when you exercise on the shore, on the seashore? What about your endorphin? Enough endorphin? You got enough endorphin this morning? Why? Please answer according to what you have learned. Oh, because the gene is turned on. Now the gene is turned on. Why? Yes? What? As you looked at the sun rising above the horizon, yes. We have the genes, and the genes respond to the beauty. Wow, that's beautiful. Our genes are meant to respond to the beauty. Now, when, you, when we can't respond to the beauty, we have no feelings. Now, those who have no feelings, their genes are turned off. So those rocks and trees, they cannot respond to the beauty. But when we go to somewhere where is beautiful, where is beauty around, then we see, wow, our genes change. The human, so human beings are like that kind of beings. So right now, what happened to your body? What kind of change happened to you? You had bad change in your body, and that's why you got sick. So even though you make mistakes, but you're very happy and brave, then that's okay. Now in our body, we have cells, and our cells can have bad change and good, ta good change. According to what? According to what kind of things come into our body, our mind as well. Beautiful things or the dirty things or filthy things. Love comes in or the hatred comes in. Hope comes in or the depression comes in. Anger, wrath, forgiveness. According to those things, our genes change. You have to know this. Now we are going to we're going to learn about what life is. Now our genes respond to what we know. Yes, knowledge is power. What do you need to know? You have to know the truth. No matter how hard you study on the fa false things, there's going to be nothing left. You thought you knew a lot of things, but actually, later on, you didn't know anything. Without truth, there's nothing. You have to know the truth in this world. How my body responds to those things. What's happening in my body. You have to also know the truth of your body as well. 
So when you go to school, what do you learn? You learn biology, physics, you know the reason. You learn the reason, how to reason things. So this world is, you have to learn the reason. You have to know how this world goes on. And you also ha have to know how our genes react to this reason. And also you have to know this spark, energy and power. If those electrical appliances uh, need to work, then you need electricity. Even though you connect electricity to the uh, dead body, the dead, the dead person will not come alive. No, a live person, that person needs spark. That is important. But many people don't know how they are alive. They don't know the spark. They don't know the energy, but then they just live. They never reason themselves. They just to live whatever they want to do. But that is not right. That is not correct. This universe, this earth, and s the sun, and the moon, they have their reason. Everything has the reason. And I'm sure our body has that reason as well to function correctly. But we live without knowing those reasons. So we go against the reason. And we, us we usually say, hmm, whatever I want to. I don't care. So when you live according to what you want to do, you get sick. So you sometimes hate people and you do whatever you want to do, whatever you feel like you're doing. You eat whatever you want to eat. You don't sleep, but if you feel like you want to work, then you just work all night. Just everything is, everything depends on yourself. Then you have a problem with that reason. You know, our body is like a machine. It means we also have the instructions how to operate per, uh, correctly. Computer, TV set, everything, they have instructions. Now those uh, electrical appliances also have the instructions. What are those instructions? According to the electricity, they function. Our body functions according to the reason of the life. So when the spark comes in to our body, then it, it works. Yesterday we said knowledge is power. Now, what is this power? Hmm? 
that when you have this power, you can control, you can balance everything. Now, you say you get sick. Now, it means you lost your control. You lost your control over body. Now, it's out of control right now. Now, if the electri electricity power goes down, then those appliances, electrical appliances, cannot work. When I went to Russia, uh, the electricity went out very often. And I was watching TV, and then the, the TV was dying because the electricity power was going down. It doesn't function well. Now, your body doesn't function well right now. And the reason why? Because the spark, the life, is not provided to you correctly. So Oriental philosophy, they realized this spark. Now, I studied Western medicine, and I'm a doctor. Now, this Western medicine is against the wall right now. Why? Because the Western medicine doesn't accept this spark. But also, Oriental medicine is also against the wall. Why? Even though they accept the spark, they don't know the reason. Now, Western medicine knows how our body functions well, but then they don't know the spark. Now, Oriental medicine, they know the spark, but they don't know the reason. So what do we need to do? We need to combine those two medicine. Now, the reason from the Western medicine and the spark that the Oriental medicine is talking about they have to find out what those things are. Now here in this place, we do this. We have to realize what our genes are like, and we also have to know the spark, which can function in our body. We have to know that secret. Now, a long time ago, we've been using this spark. Now, so what is this spark? So I asked Oriental Medicine doctor, what is the spark? And he said, well, the spark is spark. There's no definition. They said the spark is the spark. Now, what is the definition of the spark? Now let's find out. The spark is necessity as we live. We sometimes say, you're cheerful, you're depressed. It talks about our condition. Oh, he looks really down today. There must be the spark. So when the spark is fully charged to the person, then you say, you're very excited. You say, I feel very excited. When you feel very excited, you're very healthy. Now all the genes are activated. And endorphin also. Now, those turned off endorphin, endorphin uh, genes are produced actively. When you're excited, it means you're very happy. When you receive the floodgating spark, 
you feel good, your digestion is good, now your T cells fighting with those cancer cells, every function of your body is good when you're excited and when you're cheerful. But these Modern medicine cannot give you this spark treatment. So when you have cancer cells, they kill them, they burn them, they cut it off, cut them off. But oriental medicine, they don't give you operation. There is no anti-cancer injection. Oriental medicine wants to treat you with the spark, but they don't know the spark. So they can't treat you very well. They don't know what the spark is. They don't know the reality of the spark. Now we are going to find out the reality of the spark. When, we s when you say you're full of energy, what does that mean? When do you say you're full of energy? When do you feel excited, fully excited? When? When is that? I went to Norway. I've been to many other places. When I but I went when I went to Norway, ah, oh, I was fully excited. Oh, when I went to Norway, I was fully excited. What does that mean? I say I am uh, I was fully excited. Why? Cuz the beauty of the scenery. Now those beautiful scenery, as I saw, I said, oh, I am very excited. Now truth, goodness, and the beauty make you excited. Now when you listen to St. Lee's lecture, you say, wow, I, I am excited. Why do you say you're excited? Why? Because when you hear the truth, as you listen to the truth, he explains the truth very easily. Now I understand clearly as I listen to his lecture. Oh, that's exciting. I am excited. So the true character, true nature of the spark is the truth, goodness, and the beauty. If I lie to you here, then you will say, hmm, I'm not sure, I don't know. Then you're not excited. But, you w but when you agree, yes, that's true. When you feel the truth, your genes are turned on. Now, the goodness Now, when you are in need, someone comes up to you and help you. You're so thankful, then yes, you are also excited. The nature of the spark is the truth, the goodness, and the beauty. That is it. When you're full of the truth, goodness, and the beauty, you are excited. Here in this place, we want to be very excited. Don't you? You want to be excited? Yes. Yeah, with. Yes, yes. Now, on the contrary, now you're depressed. You have no energy. You're depressed. When do you get depressed? 
Oh, uh, I was deceived. I really trusted that person, but uh, he deceived me. So the false lying is the opposite of the truth. So those things which are the opposite side of the truth, the goodness, and the beauty, you are depressed. Now what's the opposite of the goodness? Evil. Oh, very evil. You're depressed. Oh, how can this happen? And when you are in, when you are lacking life, your genes are out of your control. Now the beauty, the what's the opposite of the beauty? Filthy things. Disgusting. Uh, you feel sick of something, then that's the opposite of the beauty. So the nature of the spark is the truth, the goodness, and the beauty. We thought those truth, goodness, and the beauty are have nothing to do with my genes. Now you're going to fight for your disease after this You Start program. Now to have a wonderful fight, you have to receive the spark. Then what do you need to do now? You have to, f you have to try to find something beautiful in everything. And every day, you have to realize the truth. Ah, oh, it's beautiful sea, beautiful mountain. What a mountain. The beautiful clouds, beautiful flowers. Now spring is going to come. Ah, oh, nice flowers. But instead, if you say, oh, the flowers are blooming, okay. Spring has come, okay then you're still losing control of your genes. So when you realize the beauty of the nature, if you realize the beauty of the nature, when you find out why the flowers should be beautiful, then you will know. Before, when I looked at the flowers, oh, the flowers are beautiful, but why do they have to be beautiful? Why do they have to be beautiful? I didn't know the reason. You know, they need to be, they need to try very hard to be beautiful. Why did they try to be very beautiful? You know, it takes efforts. In a long time ago, strawberries, peaches, and oranges, they're so beautiful. But I didn't know why they should be that beautiful. I didn't understand the world, the nature. Now, I was very upset when, um, when I looked at the flower, kanna. I was upset. Why? It's because the flower was so beautiful, graceful. Oh, this is very beautiful, but it's not so economical. I felt like it's wasting. was too long. But now, I realized that kana and other flowers, they need their own beauty. 
they shouldn't be the same. If everything is the same, it's not going to be that beautiful. So, like person as well, even though we all look like we all look different, but everybody's so precious. If my baby and other people's baby look the same, then we won't feel the beauty of each person. So, in this world, there is a very good reason. For everything to be beautiful. Now, why? Because they are going to give me the spark through their beauty. Now, when you realize these kind of things, you say you've realized the truth now. Yes, that is why. Hmm. And then you are very excited. And now, when you realize these kind of things, you say, I'm going to live differently from now on. <laughs> now, this is the truth. Now, this is the truth. And so far, if you have felt, oh, yeah, okay, fruits are fruits, flowers are flowers, then that's very meaningless. When I lived in America, you know, now I live in Korea, but I used to live in America. Now, when I was uh, when I lived in America, I took my friends to this place. Great waterfall in America. The Koreans would not imagine this greatness if they haven't been there. Now, look. Do you know how great is? This is now. These are the buses down there. Can you see how small it is? Now these trees are very tall. They are very tall trees. Now these are the little waterfall, and over there and up there. Yes, wow, that's a really great waterfall. When you are there, you will be very excited. You will be overwhelmed. By the beauty of this waterfall. Now, I took one of my friends from high school to this place, and my friend said, Oh, these are just the water out of the rocks. What's so special about this waterfall? Now, I said, There's a reason for this waterfall to exist. Now, I'm showing you this picture. Why? Because I want to give you the spark. Yes, wow, what a waterfall. That's exciting. That's wonderful. So it's totally different when you watch TV. When you watch New Start program through TV and when you uh, practice New Start here, it's totally different. Now, if you say, oh, just, just the water out of the rocks, then you are getting rid of those beauty. When you get rid of those beauty, from the truth, we say that's the fact. Now, that's the waterfall. Yosemite waterfall. And that's the just the water out of the rocks. Now, that's the fact. Fact doesn't mean the truth. Now, how can your genes be activated? You have to find the beauty in this waterfall. Beautiful, wow, beautiful waterfall. But you know what? If you're stressed in this world, you can't feel the beauty. N you know, when he was in high school, he wasn't like this. 
we used to go hiking together and, you know, he used to feel the beauty of the nature. He could feel. You know, my hometown, there, there are mountains and he really loved those mountains. Now, 25 years later, we met together and he said, that's what he said, oh, the water out of the rocks. Now, what happened to him? Uh, he was stressed. He was struggling because of the falls. He was struggling in the opposite side of the truth, the goodness, and the beauty. He was tired of everything. So he said, oh, let's go to Las Vegas. You know, only the money left. He was only interested in money. He wasn't interested in the truth and the goodness and the beauty. He was very dull to them. Now it's the same with you. If you live in the stress, you will be senseless to those beautiful things. Now New Star practice here in this place, we want to restore your sensitivity and the beauty and the truth and the goodness. And so that's why if you call Saul with your cell phone, oh, in that case, you shouldn't do this and do that. Oh, I should be there. Oh, please don't say this kind of things. Now, this time is very important moment. This is very precious moment for you. Why? Because you need to change your ideas, your mind, and your lifestyle. Now, here, three lectures every day, and you practice new start, you know, drink water and exercise and fresh air and so forth. This is very important things. Now, in Seoul or where you're at, you've never heard of this. You didn't realize anything. You didn't feel anything. You just, you know, read the newspaper every day, but that's also pain when you watch TV. Also, bad news all the time. There's no truth and goodness and beauty. Now, when you watch drama, you know, they kill each other and they hate each other. Now, here, seek the beauty, the truth, and the goodness here. Learn those things here. Now those truth, the beauty, and the goodness will turn on your turned off genes. Every machine needs the power to function. Now our power is the spark. And the spark means the truth, the goodness, and the beauty. So if everything is false, everything is evil, everything is disgusting, that you are depressed. You're dis depressed, you're disappointed. But there's a moment when you're totally depressed and totally disappointed. Then what happened? then you feel like you pass out. If you are totally, totally upset, then you pass out. Momentarily, you pass out. Now, what, what kind of situation? If it's too, too, too evil, let's say you have five years old granddaughter and some people kidnapped this little granddaughter and buried her alive. How would you feel as a grandmother? Ah, oh, that's... That's really nonsense. And you could feel the sense that you 
are so disappointed and depressed and sad, then your genes are turned off. Now we, our human beings, function according to the power, the spark. That's the source of power. If you have no source of power, you can't digest, you can't even think. So to be healthy, what do you need to receive? Yes, the spark. Now, what do I do? Well, myself, I cannot give you the spark. I can teach you the nature of the spark so that you can open up your heart toward those beauty and the truth and the goodness. Sometimes maybe it feels awkward, but you know, I have to act. For example, when you sing after this, you laugh. You know, it's kind of awkward, but you have to do this. If you do this too long, you know, laugh too long, then that's not the truth. So if you do this, you know, laughing, you know, for a long time, then you feel against because that's not the truth. But, you know, if you use this for for something that you want to try, if you do this to be positive, if you do this to express your positive thinking, then it's okay. I will try at least this. If you have this heart, then that becomes the truth. So, of course, the truth of the waterfall is not the water out of the rocks. The truth of this waterfall is the beauty. Why does this waterfall exist? To provide what? Yes, the spark. To provide spark, it exists. Then we are thankful. Yes, I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful for the creator of the waterfall, then you feel the goodness and the beauty. Oh, yes. It exists for nothing? No. It has nothing to do with me? No. It has something to do it with me. It has reason to exist. Oh, yeah. And that's why we have to look at the beauty. Why? Because the nature is beauty. And now you realize the truth. You realize the reason. So as soon as you look at the waterfall, you feel the truth and the goodness and the beauty. And then you really realize the existence of this waterfall. When you find this truth, you can clap. The reason why you clap is because your endorphin is produced. Now the reason why the endorphin is produced, because the gene is turned on. Then naturally you can clap. If you have Nothing like this in your fighting for disease, then you have very little power. Now, you know, this world is digital world. Even 10 years ago, we didn't have cell phone. We didn't use a lot of cell phones like today. And 10 years ago, cell phone was very big. It was like the, uh, the submarine. Now look at the cell phone. 
There are a lot of programs in it. The cell phone, when the cell phone receives the signal, and that it's supposed to ring this song and that song, everything is recorded, programmed. And even though it's intangible, you, s you know, there's a signal that comes in, and then, you know, your cell phone sometimes buzz, sometimes rings. It is programmed that way. It's like the same way with our body. We ourselves are cell phone. Let's say we ourselves are cell phone. When we receive the signal, we respond. Now, to respond, you need this energy. Like the cell phone needs the battery. Now, when you watch TV, the electricity should be on. It's like the same way with our cell phone. Cell phone needs battery. Now, this morning, you had breakfast. That's your battery. You ate this morning to receive the signal of the truth, the goodness, and the beauty. That's why you ate this morning. If you don't eat, you can't receive the signal. That's how it exactly works. So our body is not analog anymore, digital. We receive the signals, intangible signals. When NASA in America, when they launch the spaceship, they control the space shuttle on the Earth through the signal. Even the satellite, you know, sometimes there's no person in the satellite, but then people control the satellite down on the Earth. They send signal and then they sometimes repair their satellite as well. When your computer is out of order, you know, your company, Samsung, let's say Samsung company, then the company over there can repair your, com uh, your computer in your house. But our medicine is still analog, analog. That's the problem. Why is that? Our modern medicine doesn't know the spark. And that's why they open up, they operate, they cut it off, they burn something. They operate things like analog system. Machine is the uh, digital machine. The machine got out of order because of the signal, but then they don't care of the signal. They only open up the machine and try to repair. But the machine is not receiving the signal. How can you repair that machine? Now, do you know what New Start is all about? Now, New Start is 21st century's modern, modern technology. We receive the nature of the spark, and then we combine those two things, Western medicine and the Oriental medicine together, and then we try to solve the problems. Then yes, we can solve the problems, surely. We try to treat. We know how to treat digital machine with the di digital treatment. And that is the 21st century medicine. You know, I was on TV 
here in Korea in 1988. I turned the society upside down. Do you know why? Why? You know, because I turned the society upside down, I couldn't come to Korea for three years. Okay, some people say, I'm going to kill you, Sang Lee. And the people who have power up there, you know, even like cattle trader, they said, um, you know, we have to eat meat. And Seng Li is all false. But now, as you look at this, I didn't lie anything, even back in that time. I was too far ahead. New Start practices also is a leading medicine. Now, one of the broadcasting staff from EBS, Educational Broadcasting, uh, he was watching my internet lecture. And yes, we have to ask him to come to our EBS and give us lecture. And that's why I am teaching on EBS right now. I think it's miracle. Because there are some people who are against at that EBS. You know, when you are in emergency, yes, maybe you need that operation as well. You know, I learned those kind of things when I was in medical school, so I don't ignore those things. But, well, as a treatment, yes, it's okay. But it cannot give you the healing. It's not about the healing. You have the problem with the signal. So our body is not analog anymore. You have to treat yourself with a digital treatment. And we are the most developed machine, digital machine. That you have to treat yourself as a digital machine. Now, electricity and the spark are totally different. Of course, our body is programmed to respond to the electricity. So, when our heart is stopped, you know, we have those electrical shock and then our heart can get back. But with the electrical shock, you cannot digest. You cannot kill cancer cells. Through very complex reasons and things, our body is functioning. So to get rid of our cancer cells, we need the energy, but that energy is far different from electricity. That energy should be the spark. You have to understand the spark. Deeply understand the spark. Now this morning I said there are the truth and the fact. Now I say what is life? Tell me the fact. Tell me the fact without the truth and goodness and the beauty. Yes, eat, sleep, fight, and you excrete. You know, you say you divorce. That is life. Just the fact. When you're definite, your life in this way, that's just the fact. Now, what's the truth of the life? What's the truth of life? Yeah, to seek the truth, the goodness, and the beauty. Now, tell me specifically, more specifically. Oh, 
my wife says she wants to divorce. My wife says, get out. Do you sometimes do that? You smile. She's a, he used to be a national volleyball player in Korea. You look very good this time, a lot healthier than before. You were here a little while ago, two, two months ago or so. You look a lot better. Now, even though your wife says those kind of things, you try to understand your wife. You don't pay evil with pale, evil, but oh, honey, I'll do better. And then when you embrace your wife, then it is more beautiful after fight than before the fight. Ah, oh, so life is worth <laughs> to live. So if you don't seek those truth, goodness, and the beauty, you just eat, you just work, you fight, you know, that's all. And you get sick. You know, that's about it. But the truth of life. is not like that. While you live. Whatever you wanted to live. And then you get sick. But then, when you realize the beauty, the truth, and the goodness, and then you overcame your sickness, and then you say, well, life is wonderful. It's not all about me, but the spark is coming to me. And you realize that you, and when you have the new understandings of yourself and your of your existence, when you have the relationship with the spark, then your life will be totally different. Now you say, um, s no signal. I don't need the signal. I can just live by myself. Now, if your cell phone doesn't receive the signal, can you use your cell phone? No. It's like the same way. Oh, because the signal, I speak, I exist. When you feel the spark, when you realize the value of your life and your existence, when you find the need and the reason of your existence, you will find out why the flowers are so beautiful, why the children are so precious. You will have totally new answers. Now you live a factual life, but then you will live a truthful life. When you change your life like this way, then you will be moved from the death to life according to the Bible. That's what Jesus said. In fact, there is no spark. There is no spark, in fact. You know, eat, sleep, and excrete. If, if you live with that philosophy, you stay in the death in the valley of death. 
But when you start realizing the truth, and when you realize the goodness, and then when you're thankful because of the beauty, then you come into the life, valley of life. When you enter this life, then your turned off genes will be turned on. Your genes will be turned on. Maybe so far you are very depressed and disappointed, and so your T cells couldn't kill cancer cells. But then your T cells will, you know, will wake up and wh where are all the T where are the cancer cells? Where are the cancer cells? I'm going to kill them. When you become this kind of person, you will overcome your sickness. Yes. You know, if I do this at EBS, Educational Broadcasting, you know, it'll be more interesting. I wasn't doing it. Hmm. You know, I've been teaching these last 25 years. Every time I do, every time I do, I get better. So this time, you're listening to the best lecture right now. What a truth, what a beauty, what a goodness. Now, to receive those things, what do you need? You need faith. When you believe in what I say, then that's the spark. But if you say, mm, nonsense, then you have no spark. You're blocking the spark coming in to you. So you need faith. The more you're sure of this truth, your genes act, your genes react more. Now let's say you got thousand thousand million dollars, a uh, billion dollars lottery, you won the ticket, you won the lottery ticket. If you believe half and if you doubt half, then your endophil will be produced only half. Your power should be turned on up to 220 volt. But then uh, maybe he's lying. Did he really win the lottery ticket? If you doubt, if you have doubt in your friend, let's say, I said, you know what? You won the lottery. And then that person said, really? And then, yes. But your trust influences your genes. So when the spark comes in, you have to believe. You have to have faith. So when you clap, when you respond, when you show your expressions, it means because we have been very dull, we have been very senseless to this kind of spark, we want to make sure to escape from what we were, and that's why we express overreactly. So we need trust and faith. So when you have faith and trust, you have hope. Let's say, Oh yes, I believe that I got the lottery. Even though you have you don't have the money in your hand, but if you trust the f if you trust it, like yes, I won the lottery ticket and then oh yeah, I you can plan on buying new houses. So when you have faith, 
you can have hope, even though you have no money in your hand. Now, what is really truth, what is really good, what is really beautiful, what is that? That is love. So you have this love bundle. When you open up this bundle, you see the truth, goodness, and the beauty. When it's evil, it cannot be love. Now, you say you love, and I love you, I love you, but you lie to the person. That is not love. Love should be beautiful. So the nature of the spark is the truth, goodness, and the beauty, which is love. And when you receive, when you accept the process of those believing, that is faith, and you may have hope. So the beauty, goodness, and the truth, and the love, hope, and faith, if you have all of these, then that's 100 points. Now, when you understand the spark, you understand the existence of yourself. Because of the spark, I exist. Why or what? Like, because there is electricity, there are electrical appliances. We don't exist first. The spark is first. And the living creature can exist because of this spark. Without electricity, you know, there is going to be no TV set. Now, Thomas Edison found the electricity, and after that, then we have electrical appliances. So without electricity, there can't be no electrical machine to exist. We need the spark. When there is love, faith, hope, truth, our human beings can be formed. This is the truth, you know, everyone. This is the truth. Now, evolutionary thinking is very, it's not scientific. Scientific. Now, evolution theory has no spark in the beginning. So it doesn't make sense. So if you rationally explain human beings, you have to say in the beginning, there is the spark. So when you look at the Bible, in the beginning, there was word. And the wha what is the word? What is the word? What is the word? You can express your mind, your thinking. So in the beginning, there was word. So it says, the mind, the will of the creator, the love, which is love, existed in the beginning. Means love, truth, goodness, and beauty existed. That is the spark, and that is life. Now, you understand the word, the spark. Now, the spark means the life. Now, without the spark, there's no life. So the life is equal to the spark. So please don't say s nonsense. Sometimes you say water is our life. Water cannot be your life. Now, if you know somebody is dead, if you 
put some water on that person can alive? No. Only the spark can make us alive, make people alive. You say oxygen is our life. You know, oxygen cannot be alive. When you say you when you say this, you don't know what the spark is. When the li what the life is. Sometimes you say seatbelt is your life. You know, if you put the fasten the seatbelt to a corpse, dead body, that person cannot get alive. You use life everywhere because you don't know the spark, the truth, the goodness, and the beauty. But, uh, what, but we don't think it's strange. Why? Because we don't know what life is about. Life is, is just an adjective for us. But life is noun. It's not an adjective. It's a noun. Now, many evolutionists, all the evolutionists cannot definite life. When we ask, what is life? Then they cannot answer. They may answer well, this way. Let's say there are two TV sets. There are two TV sets. And you ask this TV, the first TV, what is life? Look at me, doctor. You see the pictures on the screen, you hear the sound, you touch this, you know, you feel the heat. This is life, doctor. Is that correct? Is that correct? How? How come it is correct? Is that life? The life of this TV set is electricity. TV set, this TV set should say, my life is the electricity. But then this TV is talking about the response. About the response. Now the second TV set is a little smarter. Now what is life? Now this TV set says, doctor, you know, sometimes... You know, sometimes I was quiet, but then I get tinkled. And then when I feel something coming in, then, you know, I have some pictures on the screen. And then I start to have some sounds, you know, and, and I get hotter and hotter. I don't know what that tinkling thing is. I think that thing is life. That is a correct answer. Now, the first TV set was a little dumb. He didn't even feel that tinkling. Click. He didn't feel the click. Now, I said to the second TV set that, you know, the click was the electricity. And the TV set says, oh, there is a electricity. And because of the electricity, you know, I got born. And the second TV set realized the existence of itself. Search the definition of life in an encyclopedia. There this is life is an electrical, chemical respond to a living creature. So response is life? Is that what it means? Now we have some kind of electrical, chemical responses in our body, but that's the result. That's the result of the click. 
the result, the response cannot be life. So please don't be confused. Now I said life is truth, goodness, and the beauty. Now so far we didn't we we didn't know these things. We always said this response is our life. And we always say the living creature as life. So we kill the mosquitoes when say we kill the life. Means we break the light bulb and we say we kill the electricity. Oh, that's nonsense. That's really nonsense. We misunderstood many things. You know, you should say, I broke the electrical appliances. You shouldn't say you kill the electricity. That doesn't make sense. So life is immoral. Life cannot be disappeared. Before the living creatures were born in this place, the life existed. Because the life exists from the beginning, that's why, that's how we can exist. That's the truth. What a wonderful truth. So, so, so the nature of the spark is the truth, goodness, and the beauty. And the love. Now the love is the heart, God's heart. And that's why the Bible says God is love. So the word out of God's mouth, we call this word. Now in word, there is love. And because of love, we have life in it. Now I can understand the Bible scientifically. Here he says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Here, he, uh, second, he means the word, was in the beginning with the word. Because of the electricity, electrical appliances were made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men energy of men light energy so the bible is very scientific amazingly none of the books in the world have no explanation of life they're just confused you know kill you kill the frog you kill life you're confused with life and Life responds, and the response of life. Now, new start, pra practicing new start, what does that mean? You receive the spark. We ignore the spark because we didn't know the spark. So, you know, to get better, you always look for something. Oh, what, wha what is there outside I, I need to take? We made wrong steps. You've been receiving analog treatment, and that's why you couldn't get better. You didn't know the existence of the electricity. You didn't know the existence of signal. You just tried to fix the machine only. 
Now, welcome all of you here. You're in the right place. You will treat yourself as a digital. Now, you're ready to receive the right energy and right signal so that your genes will be restored. And I really hope you can receive the real spark so that you can get better and healed. You know, louder. Okay, louder. One more time. I said re overreaction is necessary, okay, for your own genes. Now, open up your heart and receive the beauty, truth, and goodness, and love, hope, and faith so that you will treat yourself as a digital way, technology. Yes. Wonderful. Totally different.